Hey guys, what's up? Recently Apple released iOS 15.1.1 and surprisingly, this version is compatible with the Pangu jailbreak. As you can see here, I am able to install and access Cydia on my iOS 15.1.1 device. This method is 100% secure and working great even with the latest iPhone 13 lineups. You will get untethered Cydia meaning the Cydia will work even after rebooting your iDevices. So you won't need to re-jailbreak it again and again. So without any further delay, let's get right into the method. Let me show you the current version of iOS installed on my iPhone 13. Alright guys, as you can see, it's the latest iOS 15.1.1. Now let's proceed to jailbreak this iDevice. Open up Safari browser and then go to this website, iOSPanga.com. Make sure you visit the correct link, I will add this link in the first comment below. So this is how the website looks like. What you need to do is click on this download button right here. Now, there is a social locker. To be able to proceed to next step, you need to either subscribe to my YouTube channel or share this website on Facebook or Twitter. It's all up to you. I will demonstrate how to do YouTube subscribe here. So, click on this YouTube icon and you will be redirected to a video. Click on this subscribe button and then make sure to turn the notification on to all. Also hit the like button on the video. Once everything is done, go back to the browser and you should see the download button has been unlocked. The website will then ask you to install Pango configuration profile. Then go to home page and open up settings. Here, you should see an option named Profile Downloaded. Choose this option and then click on Install button. Now enter your passcode. Then click on Next and choose Install again. Finally, choose the Install option one more time. Now go back to home page and you should see Panga right here. Go ahead and open it up. Here, it will show you the current iOS version running on my phone. Finally click on this Jailbreak button. Alright guys, Pango has began the jailbreaking process, and it should take around 2 to 3 minutes to complete the process. So I am going to just fast forward this part. Alright guys, the process is almost done. And there it is, jailbreak has been completed, and now it's giving me option to install Cydia. Then go back to home screen and you will see Cydia being installed on your device. And it has been installed successfully. That's all guys. This is how you can easily jailbreak iOS 15.1.1 and install Cydia. You can proceed to install iOS 15 compatible tweaks with Cydia now. Please note that not all tweaks are yet compatible with iOS 15. But as the jailbreak has been finally arrived on iOS 15, you should soon see a lot of compatible tweaks in Cydia. Let me go ahead and install one of the tweak to demonstrate the process. I will be installing simple LS2 tweak. Simple LS2 provides different styles and widget for iOS lock screen, and it also bring always on display feature. Now have a look on my lock screen. As you can see, it has been modified completely, and I can now get an always on display too. This is really cool tweak guys. Let's go ahead and install one more tweak. Here I am going to install a tweak called Cylinder. This tweak will give you really cool home screen icon animations. Currently there are 45 icon effects. If these animations do not satisfy your needs, then you can create your own animations using Lua. There it is. As you guys can see, I am getting a lot of cool screen transition effects. You can change these effects from settings under cylinder menu. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you face any issue, just comment below and I will help you with it. However, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel first. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in next video. Till then, peace out.